Games that we all played in school. If you didn't play any of these in school, you're just missing out. Your school faculty must have been full of ops, bro. That's because some schools have restricted iPads and have everything blocked on it. But me, I had a computer in school. And I could just tune out the teacher and play whatever game I wanted to. Or just any shenanigans that me and the boys wanted to pull in school, we did it. I mean, come on, we were stuck in prison for like six hours a day. Like, cut us some slack. So we'll start in chronological order. I don't know if y'all had to wait outside your school. I had to wait 30 minutes to go inside my middle school and we would play what I'd like to call morning football and if it was cold outside we would play morning basketball and basically we would just get a bunch of people together and just throw around the football get like a little seven on seven scrimmage going and this would happen literally every morning and after playing everyone would be sweating their nuts off because well it's middle school and everyone was trying to be the main character out there on the field and finally after a few weeks of morning football I finally caught my first touchdown bro I was geek I was hand a whole celebration across the okay i was not celebrating and for that whole school day just felt like himothy jones morning football did get that heart rate going so you know it was it was a w so morning football ended it, 30 minutes was up we all walked into the building like a horde of elephants smelling like shit you could just smell the must from like a mile radius and we went right to our prison cell i mean class sorry and first period rolled around and of course i wasn't paying attention at all and this was the class i had like most of my friends in so we played games like Agario or any of those dot io games there were so many of them and we would all just be silently playing Agario on our computer as the teachers going through a lecture and at some points we would even have the entire class in on the Agario lobby which was crazy everyone in their mom was playing it in the class which made it even more fun and if you were the top dog in the lobby bro no one was stopping you you would split an off rip you would eat like 50 people like it was crazy the whole objective is yeah become the biggest blob in the game that's it for however long you're in there until class ended and second period I had gym class so gym class you already know we were already up to some fuck shit when we went to go change in the locker room I would always bring up water into school and everyone with the water bottle would take the cap off and then we would all flick the caps to see how far they can go and we even tried to get it on top of the lockers too the teacher was always waiting for us in the gym and we would all take forever to get there and all the time he'd be like hey shh, let's go and he said like we would have to do like push-ups or something if we kept doing it so of course we kept it on the low and if your gym class never played dodgeball then what kind of school did you go to if you didn't you must have went to like boot camp but yeah my school called it cannonball i'm not even joking because if you steph curried half courted that fucking dodgeball into the basketball hoop you would get your whole team out back on the court that happened on my team once and bro the whole team was going crazy that kid probably felt like the main character for the rest of the day it was a pretty weird dodgeball but it was still fun once gym class was over this is what your average middle school locker looked like Woo! yes sir here. oh my god and of course we were still flicking water bottle caps didn't matter if everyone was doing goofy ass shit in the locker room it's gonna continue third period i was by myself all the time so i would just play solo games cool math games like run yo that went crazy the papa's games like i literally played every single paparia there was that motherfucker gonna be bank rolling the amount of times i've been posted up in his store like you already know i cooked up that pizza with sauce man or sometimes i would just make the most atrocious looking burger of all time i was that born in school or i would just like speed run some run levels or i would just play pokemon if i really was up for it if i was up for it, the most rage inducing computer game the impossible quiz that shit got me in on the verge of raging in the middle of the class when i get make it so far question 102 out of like 110 and i just fail it's just it's just a tough moment and it's difficulty definitely helped with its popularity for sure because everyone in my school was playing this game like the kid in front of me he was playing it and when I first started learning the answers I would just like see what he put for the answers so I could get further we had some strategies going on or I could have just YouTubed it but uh I was done if there was a question I was stuck on I just saw what he did yeah literally everyone was playing games in their middle school classes like no one cared and the schoolwork was just that easy now it is time for lunch now lunch was interesting because you don't know what the hell you're gonna expect for the day but one thing i would always see go down at lunch is freestyle like someone would make a beat with their fists or something and then we would just start freestyling yeah hey lunch is yeah it's pretty good yeah i woke up with some severe morning wood and then i got nothing
Obviously, get rid of the morning wood part because I did not fucking say that. And people would do way better than me because I do not know how to freestyle and still don't. Like, there was that this one kid that would just straight up be spitting on the beat and everyone was going crazy. I got me a brand new burrito with a bag of Doritos. Ooh, ooh, keep going. I paid $2. I control this beat with a leash, no collar. Ooh, he's spitting. Duck, or should I say Casper, you looking pale. You can't come back now because the ship already sailed. And then, yeah, everyone went crazy like that one super hot fire clip. Yeah, he was pretty popular around the time this happened. It was a fun game, I'm not gonna lie. And once lunch was over, damn, it was pretty depressing because we had to go back to yet another shitty class. Or sometimes, if we were lucky, we'd be able to go outside for 10 10 minutes. Yeah, pretty shocking for a middle school. It would always confuse me how we had some sort of recess. Hey man, I'll take it. There's There were some goofy inventions. We created some of the dumbest games on the planet. Or we would just do some random ass shit. And once the 10 minutes was up, we went back. And, and although the school bathrooms are absolutely rancid, I still went to the bathroom at the end of the day because we got to check in on the mobile games. Of course, or sometimes I would play a little bit of trash get ball if I was really bored. You know, if I was in the mood, if I was in the mood to be like Stefan curry out on the court but the accuracy of course wouldn't be there i'd be bricking all my shots like if i really wanted to make a shot i had to be like Giannis from the free throw line i had to take my sweet ass time with it get the trajectory angle right and everything because i really did suck at trash get ball and you know i had to brush up on my skills for class so i can just like chuck a piece of paper if i have to throw it out like from my desk we can't be getting up out here so fourth period ends and it's now fifth period which was my free block or study block or study hall whatever you call it and you basically could do whatever you you wanted whatever your heart desired unless you had a teacher that was a hefty land school user then good luck with land school you could basically like stalk what your students are doing which is pretty weird man but it was my number one op back in the day especially when i was trying to run up bad eggs with the gang and basically what this game was is eggs they had weapons and you would shoot each other with the weapons and if you missed an easy shot you basically fumbled the bag and the game had all these exotic ass weapons and whoever's team was the last standing one and that's basically how it worked in a nutshell. We started with 100 HP, and yeah, you get the point. It was a pretty fun game. It was multiplayer, and of course, the teacher would always get mad when we were all talking to each other about bad eggs in the back of the classroom. Like, bro, I'm sure you got hella grading to do. Just shut up and do that. Like, it's free period for a reason. But yeah, most teachers were pretty chill about it, but if you got one of those teachers who cared if you were doing schoolwork, then good luck. And one more period to go till I got home, and usually for this class, just play games the whole time. Except for, like, the last two weeks of school, School, we would like play this game called mumball mumble mumball and we would throw around the ball while trying to be quiet It was basically like throwing a ball and the quiet game combined if you drop the ball or if you talked you were out And since I wasn't much of a talker in school I would always make it to the end and I had those crispy hands from morning football It's like a receptor my hands would just gravitate towards the ball now I remember this one specific moment playing mumball where it was like the top two was me versus this other kid and I remember he chucked the ball out at me so fast that it, I literally jammed my finger and it, it hurt for like a week and I caught a couple of them until yeah I jammed my finger and dropped the ball and I'm, I'm telling you bro was chucking it this was not an ordinary throw it was like a MLB pitcher type shit like bro had a serious arm like I thought he was gonna need like some Tommy John surgery at the end of this if you enjoyed this video I got you I got another video right there just for you on the end screen go watch it now